Art Cry 5 is a game, a bad game, that I have too many hours in. This is, this is, this is not, this is not a fun video essay, this is a cry for help. Someone please, help me. Before I get into this, quick little disclaimer, this is not going to be a video on why Far Cry 5 is underrated and should be spoken about more. It underdelivered and gave the community the same core experience from Far Cry 3 and 4. However, this is not going to be a Far Cry 5 hate train. Enough bad has been said about this thing, and I think other people have summarized their thoughts more and less eloquently than I have. Now. I've been playing Far Cry 5 on and off for two years now, and besides Fallout and Ghost Recon Wildlands is one of the only games that I've gone out of my way to 100%. Far Cry 5's completion is incredibly straightforward. Just get the big four, do quests, meet all the people, clear the outposts, grab some trinkets, unlock every perk, and hit a 360 shovel. And that certainly filled my in-game time, but didn't consume it. I even New Game plus Montana Simulator and discovered the entire playable map. The next logical step has two paths. Co-op and arcade, but both are stupid, but in the best way possible. Co-op is exactly like the main game. Get the big four, do quests, meet all the people, clear the outpost, grab some trinkets, unlock every perk, and hit a 360 shovel. But with a best buddy of your choosing. Is that a fucking fuel tank? What is the company's policy on explosives in the vehicle? Uh... Your jeans are a little worn. Yeah, that... Your jacket's pretty worn. <laughs> you know what, just for that? I've played co-op with three different people, and let me tell you, that is one of the best ways to breathe some life back into the game. Imagine that in other games. Imagine playing through Fallout 4 again, but being able to mini-nuke your friend after not saving for four hours. Me personally, I recommend lighting things on fire to upset your girlfriend instead. I'm gonna hurt you, Mr. Obama. Ah! Uh Eating pizza. You're about to be eating dirt, loser. Oh, hold on. Speaking of eating dirt. <laughs> Arcade is the real standard of this game because rather than doing the work themselves, Ubisoft lets you make the maps and then do all the work. However, in complete seriousness, Arcade is still worth a look at in 2023. The things that the community have made in this engine are undeniably impressive and deserve the attention. The only downside with Arcade is that anybody can make any maps, so rather than just getting an eh experience, you can have startlingly great and unshockingly disappointing experiences. Despite repetition and negatives, I've still enjoyed about 90% of all my time in-game, and I sincerely mean that. But that's because Far Cry 5 has a special secret that not many other Ubisoft titles, or even other games in general, fully capitalize on. And that's quiet moments. When I say quiet, I don't mean a scripted sequence when a lovely track plays and you get a second to contemplate the 30,000 NPCs you turned into pink mist and a good memory. No. I mean genuinely quiet moments that happen naturally. Picture this. I've just used the wonders of physics to turn a grizzly into a Swiss dairy product. And then I turn around and this is my view. Ubisoft didn't script that. I wasn't shown this by the will of the developers. I stumbled across it. I explored and was rewarded with this moment. This calm amongst the volley of bullets and sermons, between the shrapnel and shell casings. I didn't know that such a moment could exist. And there's so many of these moments out there to discover. Far Cry 5 is literally a walking simulator 
that happens to have other game mechanics attached to it. It is beautiful and ambient and alive, but not in the ways a Far Cry game should be. And that's why I think I love it so much. For me to have put so much time into this game, only to realize that my favorite parts and the most memorable ones when the game is not trying to wear the spacious boots of its namesake, doesn't have anything funny or loud to say. Rather, when it all just lets the water flow and birds sing, Far Cry 5 is one of the most immersive and inviting games I think I have and ever will play. I also love the cluster office, that's just pretty cash.